All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Air. So, we're back here, which is actually what we need to do. Sorry, I'm trying to remember how to play again. So, why to go on the map? So, we're actually we're supposed to go back to that tower. We're not supposed to go into the, the Frostlands, where I found the bear. That was actually the wrong place to go. We're supposed to go find some um, flags. I. The first time I, I recorded this, I was not exactly paying attention. I was mostly just being really happy to play like a really relaxing game. And also really, really tired. Um, still tired, but at least I'm kind of paying attention. So I'm supposed to look for some flags around here. Don't see anything immediately flaggy. Unless I'm supposed to follow the flags from the, uh... Unless I'm supposed to follow the flags from the, uh... From the lighthouse. Well, actually, you know what I... Well, screw it, whatever, I'm just gonna go look at stuff. We've got, we've got things all over. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't be looking at this. Whatever this is, is... Scary looking. What's this up here first? For a second I thought we had, like, space whales. But instead, we've got these creepy rocks and this creepy looking tower. Which is not marked on the map yet. So I've discovered the creator shrine. Well, who wants to bet that this is the uh, last place I have to go to? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Yeah, let's not mess around with that. Maybe let's head down to the uh let's head down over here. I mean the other thing is I can always just go back into the uh I can go back to the lighthouse and actually ask them where I'm supposed to go. Left this grove. You know what? Let's do that, just so I don't get too off sync. This whole area actually looks really cool. Uh, but I want to make sure that I'm doing I'm doing this right. Mainly what I want to do is just fly around. It'd be nice if I could just press a button and get, like, a marker of, like, hey, this is kind of where your ne next objective is. Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to downplay the, uh, the plot for this game, because it does actually seem like there's kind of a nice story here. But... Just baseline, I'm having the hardest time caring about it. Because this is too... This is too chill. Like, way too chill. Alright, let's see what she has hey. to say. Hi, Ganok. I went to see Medvin by Kara's Shrine. To see the carved-in shrine for myself. Oh, caved-in shrine for myself. Oh, Medvin was the old guy that was outside. Okay. I'm worried as he is. But I must ask you something else. Have you seen ghosts? I noticed glowing signs and a weird distortion in the air. Almost like small fireflies, but not actual bugs. I think they're what is called memories of the past. It's said that the lantern can discover secrets by shining upon the signs. They were mentioned in passing in an old children's story I once read to Aaron. Maybe they can reveal something important. Oh, do you need a reminder of the next location for your pilgrimage? The Eventide Sanctuary is the closest, and it's found northwest of here. Hey. Okay. Okay. He has, like, minor details. Ah, so you met the Spirit Fox. He usually stays close to home in the Spirit Mountain. But I've seen him lurking around lately. You'd think this spirit fox has been eating all the fish? Actually, that would make so much sense. Yeah, so he was trying to reintroduce fish. Uh, to the lakes in the area. But it hasn't worked so well so far. But why would he go all the way there to eat? Might be the storm in the north that affects his food supplies. He lives in the northeast, after all. Yo. Okay. Oh, they have a whole bunch of sheepy over here. So we're supposedly... 
let's go back to the, the lake area. Did I miss something there? I might have, actually. Because we had that whole, like, rune circle thing, but we never actually, like, got anything from it. Oh, there's a light coming out of it now. So, I assume we can now access this properly. I was wondering about it, why we hadn't uh, found a proper temple, and the answer is... Oh, it's because I had to get into the, uh, I had to get into the, the refuge in the other area. Because if you notice the sun and the moon thing, there we go. I understand. Ooh. I love stuff like this, like a, a structure that juts slightly out of the lake, but then descends deeper within. I should probably go back. There's somebody on the edge. Nope. Ah, shoot. Driving birds is hard. Oh, yeah. We needed the key. Because we got it a key. We got a key from that location. That's what it was. Well, can I, can I go back up? Will it let me? I was actually hoping I'd I'd be able to just walk down the staircase because it's uh it's real pretty, but oh well. But yeah, there was uh there was somebody by the edge there. Uh, I figure I should probably turn up my uh, turn on my lantern. Now, oh, it was that guy. No dice. Yeah, I wanted to walk down the staircase. But I guess they had to fit in the uh, the level separately, so I couldn't. I couldn't. Man, eh, whatever. All right. Uh, it's now that it's done loading. Let's see what these ghosts have to say. We made it. Oh, so that last place was not the refuge. That was just where um where they hid the key and stored it away. So yeah, we will be safe here. So the people that uh, that were escaping the calamity went here under Kara's protection-ish. I gotcha. That's why the things felt disjointed. I felt like I'd missed something, and the answer was I had. Why is this pretty? Yeah, this would be a cool place to hang out uh, as like a sanctuary. It looks kind of messed up, so I don't entirely know if uh, this is such a good idea. Oh, they're climbing this as though... See, I thought this place fell to ruin, but it almost looks like this place has always been this way, which is kind of odd. I don't know. The Twilight Guardian opened her eyes at the light of the sun and moon shining together. She sat down and calmly took both in her sky hands, bringing balance to light and shadow. With her right hand, she releases the sun to let people back from the dream. With her left, she flings the moon into the night sky, so people may dream at all. She is the heartbeat of the seasons, at the center of the world, the breath of life and order. It doesn't really look like there's a whole lot of anything to check out. Huh. The, uh, the runes from the people out there get really distinct when you're far away. They get kind of small when you're close close by, so it's a bit of a surprise just seeing them collected out there. It doesn't look like there's much of a reason for exploration. You know, for the people, like, moving in to set up in here, there's not actually a whole lot of sign of inhabitants. Like, nobody actually looks like they lived here. There's, like, a little bit here and there. Like, this... Okay, this kind of counts, but I'm looking for, like... I'm looking for, like, tents or, like, the attempt at a dwelling. Oh. Does not look like they lived here for long. There's, like, a bunch of goldfish here. Huh. Yeah, it almost looks like they... 
they came here and then they left within a very short period of time. This seems like the kind of game that would be an amazing, um, amazing thing for, like, kids to mess around with in a museum. Like, how cool would it be if you, uh, if you walk in, you know, walk into the, one of the exhibits or the museum and it's just like, here is something really pleasant to play. And, like, explore and stuff. I don't know. This seems like something that I would I would love to get my hands on as a as a kid. Man has paws that cannot run, but chases longingly the sun. Man has wings that cannot fly, but he will always seek the sky. Man has eyes that cannot see, but watch eternity. Man is lost unknowingly in danger, to his own mind always a stranger. Let's go check what's down the river, seeing as that's a route I can take. Because, yeah, I can go up and I can go down. I don't want to miss anything, but I guess I'm not too worried about it. There is just stuff in the other the other area too. Up the stairs. See this looks important. We'll come back in a bit. I hate I hate uh, dungeons and games that kind of force you to uh, choose which direction you want to go without like a Oh, okay, so that looks like a lore area up there. That's not actually a, a place of progression. This looked more progressy than down the river, but down the river is definitely where we need to go, so... Well... Shoot, there's tons of stuff here. Huh. Well, let's start reading. I'm Kara of the Thunder Islands. I had a strange dream that I will record here, so that others may perhaps understand its meaning as I did. I've come to study the holy carvings in the lighthouse in the land of the gods, trying to understand our heritage. As I returned, oh, as I reached out to touch some of the runes, it suddenly felt as if a warm hand had passed over my eyes, and I fell asleep on the sacred stone. In my dream, it seemed to me that the stone beneath me glowed from within, forming a staircase up the starry sky. Far away on the steps, a golden light grew and drew close. Stars flew from the sky and became someone who had the shape of music and was gentle and sad. The gods spoke to me not in words, but in memories and feelings. He warned me of a terrible greed from beyond, a void in the hearts of men. He showed it to me. I felt it stir and come between us, a darkening, the, darkening the golden steps like a storm cloud, cold as eternity. Terrified. I crowd out, cried out at the pull of this dark void, and I woke. I could not speak for three days, but I set out to the ancient temples immediately. If what I have seen is true, the gods are alive, and they need our help, as we need theirs. Okay, so we've got a bridge here that we need to connect, presumably to progress. Don't think I can cheese jump it. Uh, let's see. It looks like I'm probably going to do that by getting the side passages done. I like this. I like the fact that there are these, like, um, these temples. I thought most of this is going to be overworld, but it looks like we actually have... ...something to do. Even if it's, uh, you know, fairly minor, relaxing. It doesn't look like this is going to be hard, just reminds me of Rhyme, I guess. Rhyme was a neat game. Never really followed through on its promise. This feels a little bit better, actually. I, I don't know how many of you guys saw that series of mine. Uh, but it was, you know, here's this kind of cool pseudo-fantasy world. You're on an island. 
There's like a fox, I guess, and just a couple, couple of things here and there. Wait. This guy doesn't look like he had a good time here. E. Uh. But yeah, Rhyme, Rhyme had this like really cool promise of a, of a story or a plot. Uh, but the actual execution was uh, limited at best. It kind of ended abruptly and not in a good way. And that was something I was always I was super upset about. Still am. Uh, let's see. I guess we want to go around this way instead of trying to jump up. Yeah, this is where I'm supposed to go. Uh, this game looks like it, it will have probably a more satisfying conclusion. Or at least uh, fitting within the world. Because yeah, I, I I love games that create a, create a world and have a self-contained story in them. And I'm always mildly upset when you have, you know, a game like this, where they, they create this world that actually seems nice and wonderful and interesting and worth looking into. Uh, and then they kind of squander it and they throw it away and they're just like, well, yeah, so here's kind of this, but it's over. I recently did a series on Echo. And I'm not going to say it ended uh, badly, but it definitely didn't have the... Um, it left with more questions than answers, and I mean, the ending was fine, I guess. Uh, but I was... I was much more interested in the world and the plot, uh, and the, like, stuff behind the plot than the plot itself. Oh. Yeah, so it looks like uh, they were trying to activate these and maybe even open the door. And at least that guy broke his back. Oops, wrong way. And it looks like this one, this game is much more generally about the uh, the lore in the background than the actual, like, current story. Or I guess history kind of ties in? I don't know. It is appreciated. So this is a bridge. Oh, back here. So we've got to go. We got to go get the other one next. I see. Okay, and that's probably down the river route. It looks like there's a whole pathway up there. Sure, why not? Not in the same vein, but this game actually also reminds me. Uh, not really in. In gameplay or anything, but just kind of in in feel. Like you know when you play a game and you're like, okay, this this evokes a certain set of emotions, and so on and so forth. Like this evokes very similar emotions, and kind of hits the same spot as the story about my uncle, or story of my uncle, story about my uncle. Which was like a weird Spider-Man simulator type game. It was fun. It was actually really fun. Okay. Oh, it's a shortcut back. Okay, so we don't have to do the... Uh... So we don't have to do the platforming section again. I really love the lighting in this game. But, I don't know, lighting on low-poly games always looks great. Like, Necropolis. Necropolis was a wonderful looking game that was barely a game and completely abandoned. Which sucks. But yeah, a uh, story about my uncle just kind of had the same feeling of like, this weird and interesting world to explore. Uh, but you only really get a brief taste of it because it's a small indie project. Yee. Okay, that got scary for a second. And we're good. Yeah. Oh, hello. So this is the moon section. So, kind of a classroom.
this would be a cool place to kind of live. Wait, read... Oh, read part one and read part two. When the world was still new and the creator had drawn the lands, the spirit animals gathered to talk. A fox said, There are new animals around. They walk in two feet. A crane said, A new bird? The fox shook its head and said, They have no wings. A monkey said, I have seen them too. They're without fur and cannot climb well. An owl said, They fear the night and drive it away with fire. An otter said, They build nests on the land, but they're not one with it. A deer said, They are loud and do not know how to walk the woods. A bear said, They are like cubs, who do not know the way home. The fox cocked its head and said, Yes, that's why we have to help them. I've never quite liked that level of that side of mysticism. Human ingenuity has always been kind of this amazing thing. And I always hate it when they're just like, look at how helpless the humans are. We have to save them. It's like, no. Humans are really capable creatures that are kind of dangerous. <laughs> Help them, the other animals looked stunned. Yes, the fox said. Their minds see eternity, and they are lost and afraid. They need something to hold on to, or they will harm themselves. And the lands, and us. Uh, themselves, the lands, and us. What do you propose? asked a hare. I propose a pact, said the fox. If one of them can talk to us, we offer him the bond with the land. The fox continued. If he accepts, he can take the shape of one of us, the one he, he made the pact with, and he, he will be one with the land, and still see beyond the veil, and he can guide and guard his people and uh, guard his people. And so, we will all be at peace, said the fox. The other animals saw the wisdom in this and agreed to it. And so, some humans can become one with the world. And the Chosen were called Whisperers. Oh! Okay, I'll take that kind of fun fun lore. Uh, so we are, we are the Bird Whisperer. Let's keep looking around. There's some stuff here. So we need something to put into both of these to activate this, to get over there. I'm just gonna keep wandering around, but I am... I'm actually really digging this temple. I don't know how many there, there are going to be. Uh, hopefully there's at least a couple. Oh, there's three different temples. Unless we've already done one of them, which is a possibility. Ah, oh, the sound design for this is great. The, like, dripping water. Super good. I know there's a Souls-like that's coming out that actually kind of looks like this. Obviously, uh, the differences between this game and Souls Likes are pretty damn massive. I don't think I want to try and cross that. I'm just, I'm just seeing what I can see. Yeah, because if I get on top of that, okay, good, invisible wall. I was like, I could get up there maybe, but it seems like a bad idea. But yeah, there's a really cool looking Souls Like that comes out. Soon, 2018, I think, uh, with this general visual style. Power up. So this will only make it turn a little bit. But yeah, I'm. I don't know. I I love low poly games, so like playing one just makes me want to play more. Oh, I see. One, each one, uh, kind of controls the distance and power. Oh, you can even see how much it will turn by. So, some will turn it substantially, some will not. Well, that's cool. Oh, and that powers those two uh, side side areas. Okay. I'm digging this. Let's go down. Let's see if there's anything interesting down here. At the very least, because I want to look at everything in this game. It doesn't take very long, and there's some really nice sights there. Yeah, if I ever make a 3D game, and I guess I kind of am with Star False, I would love to make it in this style. Just low poly through and through. It, it can look bad. But it can look real good. It is starting to become a bit generic just because lots of people are starting to use that general style. Uh, but for me, I, I think it's worth it. I think it's nice. Alright, well, I think I succeeded. 
at something. How do we tell which way to rotate it? I don't rightly know. I guess we're just supposed to rotate it until we get the right symbol. Alright, fair enough. Oh, there's a lit platform over there. I assume I get the ability to rotate it later. Or maybe a shortcut or something. Well, let's keep progressing until we figure out what everything does. Looks like I'm, looks like I'm supposed to go up. This is cool. I I am suitably impressed. Because, yeah, I, I thought we were largely going to be constrained to the open world, but there is actually game and gameplay here. Because, yeah, I would have been more than willing to accept just flying around as a bird. Uh, just doing associated bird things for the entire game. But this is a step up. Not much more complicated, but it is something cool to do. Oh, there's even sliding in this game. But no sand surfing. As one of the great greatest crimes, I think, is how cool the movement was in Journey. And uh how cool the movement was in Journey and how disappointing it is to not have anything else that behaves at all all the same. It seems as if this door has been stuck for a long time. I wonder if there is even anything on the other side. Because, like, Journey Sand Surfing was a game in and of itself, and they barely capitalized on it. And, like, except for kind of Sonic the Hedgehog in a couple of spots, there really isn't, like, any anything that really comes close to that feeling. I guess, except for, like, maybe snowboarding games, but even then, there's no, like, level of whimsy and magic to those. I would play the shit out of like a magic snowboarding game. Like I don't I don't want to go to like real world mountains. I want to go to like Mount Doom. <laughs> I want to surf down a surfboard Mount Doom as it's blowing up uh post Frodo and uh Frodo and Sam chucking the ring in. Oh, this is the Goddess of Twilight-ish. Come here, little bird. A very long time ago, your people addressed me as the Twilight Guardian. Sitting at the border of dusk and dawn, ensuring travel, safe travel, on the paths to the lands of dreams and back again. Even as the Great Divide, even after the Great Divide, I was there, watching as your priestess Kara led her people to safe shores here in my temple. A long time have I waited for this moment to come. I have grown weak, but for the power I was lent, tethering me to your world. Listen carefully, little bird. Once again the void is awoken with great hunger, this time to devour all that is left of our world. But there's still a chance to stop him. The priestess Kara hid three fragments of great power, one in each temple. You have to make the three fragments one again, I will give you the part I was given for safekeeping. Without it, I will fade into oblivion. It has been my link to this world since the time the gods were lost to the minds of men. But we cannot wait. Please, accept my fragment and finish what was started so long ago. Oh, you know what other game this kind of reminds me of? Visually, uh, this, this... Twilight Guardian really reminds me of Karma Flow. Really reminded of Karma Flow right now. Though I think I like this better. Well, that was cool. Yeah, I don't think there's anything left, so I'll just go through here. 
There might be secrets to explore. I might have to come back for them. I was curious about, you know, that sealed door with me. But there's a room on the other side. But it didn't look like there was an easy way to get there. And I don't know how much uh, extra exploration you can even do for this game. I don't know. Either way, that was... Oh. Wait, hold. Okay. Huh. Well, this place... This place had a bit of a day. Damn. I feel kind of bad now. I wrecked that temple, and it was a nice temple. Well, such as video games. I mean, I, I, it's one of those where I loved the view. I loved the like kind of cool uh, pit thing, and now it's just rock and stuff. But it needed to, it needed to be done. So otherwise, we're never gonna progress in this game. Let's see, I'm gonna go swing by one of those bird fountains if I can find one. Oh, there it is. There we go. Ah, music is so good. The flight controls are amazing, too. Like, I want... How cool would it be to do this in, like, Zelda? Like, you have a, a Rito mask. You can fly like this as a Rito. You have a Zora mask. You can swim. Goron, roll around or something. I don't know, it would be fantastic. Ah. Either way, though, I guess this is actually a really good stopping point. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of uh, Air, Memories of Old. And as always, thanks for watching.